Hey everyone, uh, I'm Dan from Ari Dan Sewing. Uh, this is not going to be very well. I'm just going to start talking. Quick update: I guess it's been a while since I, especially since I've posted anything to YouTube. Um, but here we are. It's just been a lot, lot going on. Um, stress. I'm just stressed out. Stress and, and boom, 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 and more jobs coming in and money going out everywhere. And it's just been a nightmare. I mean, not a nightmare, but it's been rough, right? So, um, I don't remember. But I think the last vlog I did was like with Ariane. And we always try to keep those. I don't know. But anyway, so. cut that <laughs> um I don't know when the last one was been a couple weeks maybe uh, we've had assistants come and go uh, you will have seen them because I make them all post uh, trying to make them post in the reg on the regular to the Facebook and to the YouTube and everything like that you you have seen different faces. What's up? I forgot the fee at my center. It's the bills, the utility bills, right? So, Morocco, if you just want it for your edification, if you ever move to the Philippines, and you're on the main island, Morocco is your electricity company. Um. How does it compare? I, honestly, I could, I can't, I don't know. When I was uh, in the States, I never paid enough attention to uh, electricity consumption to be able to make an accurate um, comparison. Uh, what I can do is say that, uh, you know, normally when I lived in Oklahoma in a house, three, Two bedroom house, uh, you know, with a garage, and I had like Airbnb people staying, and also tenants. Plus, I stayed there. Um, the electricity was like three hundred a month, four hundred a month, depending on what was going on, uh, and that's with like one, two like two or three permanent live-in residents and then you know airbnb people coming and going um plus you know but you know the red the living they all had their working they worked their jobs whatever so you know it wasn't like someone was there 24 7 except for me no nope, even i was working so no one was there 24 7 just like pounding on electricity and that was like 300 bucks i think like the most um, yeah, that sounds about right. Um, <coughs> here, uh, in this place, this is a two bedroom house, uh, and there are two, nope, there are four. Now, currently, there are four permanent residents, four people who live here, but also we run the sewing business from this house, you know, so aside from the, the multiple computers that are always on, plus the, you know, Wi-Fi and the fans and my air conditioner that's always on 24-7, right? Aside from that, there's also downstairs the shop, so there's one, two, how many sewing machines do we have, uh, Joanne? Eight. Eight. All, even the new one and the embroidery machine? Anyway, we got eight sewing machines. Something like eight or nine. That are running all day. Uh, just on and working. So, people making clothes. Plus, all of the employees who work those machines are down there. You know, charging their phones or doing whatever. I mean, you know, they personally don't use a lot of electricity, but... 
So this place is a hub of activity with electricity going on all the time. And for one month, this one month, this is the highest bill I've ever gotten. Um, but also this is the most productive we've ever been. So this bill is 7,000 pesos. Uh, 7,000 is 100. 5,000 is 100. So 2,000 is like 2,550. So it's about 150 bucks. Look at that. But I'm here all the time and I run a business out of my house constantly. Industrial sewing machines and air conditioner that's going all the time. And lights that's always on. Radios. Internet. All of that. All that good stuff. Uh, we don't have a washer dryer here. Washer dryer is at the house that I should live in. But uh, I live at the office. So that bill is an extra 500 pesos. So that's 10 or 11 bucks. So where the clothes get washed with the washer and dryer and the kids live there with their internet and their electricity. Uh, that puts us all together. Philippines electricity bill for two places. $160, $170. Alright, right. and then the water. How much is this water? Water is a little less than 10 bucks. <coughs> and that's with mm -mm, me and the wife. The kids come every day, every other day. Because we're not too. This house isn't. The shop isn't too far away from the house. So the kids are always here. Uh, plus we got the tenants, plus you know, people downstairs. Everyone's using the CR, that's the comfort room, the bathroom. So everyone's using the CR. You know, they're, they're washing their clothes here, you know, the old fashioned way. Taking showers, everybody showering, whatever, whatever. So we all use the water. Good price, man. You can't complain. You cannot complain. What is that? Hey, okay. So, that's the bills. Um, Business-wise, everything's going okay. Just, you know, just growth. Like I said last time, we're just going up. Um, Getting more customers, more clients, um, and just juggling. We got a new administrative assistant. That's Joanne. You'll see her in other videos. Today, I sent Joanne to get us set up for Paggy Big, Paggy Big Fun. Uh, if you're coming over here, you're going to start a business uh, that's legal and making good money you're gonna have to register with the Paggy Big Fund. Paggy Big is like uh, it's a public service low interest loans you know available to all citizens right so every employee has to pay in you know it's just it's like you know whatever taxes it's just taxes Taxes that they get to use to get a loan for a house or land or renovations or can you use Paggy Big for health care if you get sick or something, Joanne? What? Can you use Paggy Big for uh, medical bills or something? Can I see it? This this is for our house loan. I'm just, I'm asking, do you know, I know you can use Peggy Big to get a house, you can use it also to fix up your house, you can use it to buy land, can you use it for, if you get, if you break your leg, can you get Peggy Big to help you pay for it, you don't know, she doesn't know, she's young, how old are you Joanne? 19. 19. People are younger in the Philippines than they are in America, right? 
So in the U.S., you're 19. You might be young and dumb, but um, you know, you've at least thought about. For the most part, we would have thought about uh, housing and all of that stuff because uh, we we're leaving our parents' house. By the way, sir, excuse me. May I get your uh, mid number? Mid number for Pag-ibig. Yeah. Where do we get that at? What is that? Mid number. If you you got your Pag-ibig form, you will get the mid number and the tracking number. What is what Pag-ibig form? What? We didn't get any Pag-ibig form. Huh? There's no form. Yes, you have. If you are going to apply for membership for the Pagibig fund, you, you have to get the form. I can't apply for Pagibig. Oh, you have? You don't have? No, I'm a foreigner. How can I have a Pagibig? Um, the business? We're applying right now. That's what that is for. We need more. Uh, They'll fill Employer that out. ID number. They'll make it. They'll give us one. Here. Oh. This is. Employer ID number and the uh, tracking number. They will write that in. Okay. The Pagibig people. This, this, you can't. We can't have a, a Pagibig number if we never had Pagibig, right? We're just applying for the first time right now. Okay. So they'll give us. They'll give it to us. Um, so anyway, that's one of the taxes. Um, they sent us a letter that said we are out of compliance and we have 15 days to comply or else we'll go to jail. So we have to get the Peggy Big done. Um, kind of sucks, but whatever. You know, I mean, we always plan to get it done. Just now you got that little fire on your butt. So. We sent her there, but they sent her back and just said, take this form, get all of these paperwork in order, and come back. Which is the, you know, that's the normal answer at any government type offices. Take these forms and get out of here, and come back when you know exactly what you need to do. So, they sent her out. We have most of the forms, though. All of the most of the paperwork is there, but there's a couple things that Ariane has assigned personally. As far as Peggy Big goes, the reason I wanted to, to talk about Peggy Big is because we uh, applied for Peggy Big, right? I know the normal idea of someone who comes to the Philippines and they had it made, right? They got their retirement or you know their disability or whatever and they're getting checks from the US or they're getting checks from whatever country they're from and they're just kind of living the life because everything's cheap that's not me uh, I got nothing coming and I'm not living the life so you know the, I'll talk to you, the other foreigners on Facebook or something like that and I'm like yeah man you buy some land buy, my, buy a house or build your house from scratch get some land super cheap you know just pay straight whatever but um, it's not quite the option for me we are we are working our way up so we're gonna get a housing loan to buy a house that's already made uh, that we can expand uh, ourselves so we applied to Peggy B I'm gonna tell you what the process was and here's what happened right so first one is a little house, and we're getting more machines and more employees, and we need a bigger place. So Ariane says, let's do Peggy Big. I've been working, you know, for my whole life as a seamstress, and they, these MFers, they owe me, right? They owe me a loan, right? So let's get Peggy Big. So her cousin who got a house through Peggy Big, Photocopy or two eyes, valid eyes. Okay. Um, 
Maybe I'll move this printer over there so you can just... Not right now, but just... I don't know. I have to decide which one of us prints more. <laughs> if she needs it more, if I need it. Uh, I think actually... Why don't you connect it to the... Printer? That computer has old windows on it and it doesn't do that that good so but I'll I'll me I'll figure it out okay. anyway um, as I was saying about Peggy big her cousin had it bought a house her cousin's a teacher her husband is a uh, electrician um, they're cool people so they got their house from Peggy big they know a, a broker and so we get in touch with the broker to get the process started. Now, what exactly is a broker? I don't know someone who, the way I understand it is the broker finds or has a list or knows where to get the list of houses that are Peggy Big eligible. Um, so our broker lives in the neighborhood that we wanted to live in and had the the lowdown on all the foreclosed and empty houses and whatnot the list the master list and so we paid the broker thirty five thousand right it was like five thousand for her and thirty thousand for Peggy Big which is a reservation they called it a reservation fee to reserve a house and lot right so we pay 35 30,000 to reserve a place while we get the paperwork done that's the way it was explained to me you know and I asked them and I asked them and asked them and they talked around in circles and the best I can come up with is that 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 is what it is for the reservation so they can secure a house in the lot so no one else can use Peggy Big to get that place before us. So we give that and then they say, okay, well, it's going to be three months before any action happens. And I say, no, I don't want to wait three months. So I'm paying you all this money. Why would I wait three months? That's crazy. I want the fast house. Find the, find the house that's available now. Uh, because, I don't know, that's just my thinking. I'm like, at the time, I was like, well, we got money now. We may not have money in three months. We may be broke, poor, and destitute. So, we're going to get this done as fast as possible. That way, if it all falls apart, we at least won't be homeless. <laughs> will be homeless uh, so so she's like okay well I'll get it to two months and um, months roll around two months rolls around and you know, I'm antsy I'm like well, what's going on with this house yada yada uh, what what did she do what's going on Marianne makes calls and talks and whatever and say oh there's no house available or we're gonna look for another house or you know but I'm like I thought that reservation fee was to secure a house well so three months rolls around and then I'm like okay look either either they are going to give me a place give me a place they're gonna give me my money back because this is crazy I didn't give you three thirty-five thousand just to sit in the dark right, for fun. And so over the time, she's like, "Okay, well, I need Ariane. I need you to come to the Peggy Big main office with me." And uh, finally, we set that up. She went to the Peggy Big main I, office, I really and she comes back uh, with this paperwork huh? for a I Peggy am. Big well, housing loan. Now apparently there is a house and lot that has been reserved. There's a house and lot on this paperwork. So are you blogging? Yeah. Uh, why don't you explain to them 
what does the broker do in a Paggy Big? What does a Paggy Big broker do? Look at her face. Look at the, look at the questions on her face. <laughs> what does it do? She does some, you know, just assist me. <laughs> you see? You see? He just assist me. That's all. So you pay the broker. What do we pay? We pay thirty-five. She kept five and gave thirty to Peggy Big. How much does she keep? All of them. We need all of it. Everyone, I don't know. I don't know what what the money where the, where the go. <laughs> where did the money go? It's not a smile. It's just the natural contours of my face. But maybe you can see the through my eyes, the emotions. So what? She's going to go back to Paggy Big. It's still open? Go back. Yeah. Yeah, 3 o'clock now. It's still open. I mean... Did you sign that three times? Where? Your signature uh, form on the back. Meron mo tayong certification. Meron mo sa akin yung dyan. All of our paperwork is in the file. Maybe we need a copy of our... Picture na lang nito. Our so IDs. Yung Paggy Big ko, ilagay mo na rin dyan. Your ID. Huh? Your ID. Anyway. So finally, she comes back with. Uh, Where's paper. the exacto knife? Downstairs. With maids. You give, give it to him when? What do you mean when? I said, do you want the exacto knife? And then Med said, no, I'm okay, I don't need it. But I brought it down anyway and put it by the sewing machine. On her table. It's looking for it. Anyway, so she comes back with this paper, NCR housing loan reservation form. We have a property reserved in her name. All right, and then it's got the acquired asset management group. It's got the information of the loan, the selling price of the house, uh, less a 10% discount for so the net selling price. Now it's saying that the, the, the it's supposed to be a down payment paid within 30 days, but I'm certain we should not have to pay that, right? Obviously. We've already paid 30000 Aside from that, this is a low cost. It's a housing loan for people who, for, you know, people who can't get loans. You know, it's notoriously hard to get a loan here, I think. Uh, the interest rates are super high. This is like a government backed loan. Sir, excuse me. Should I find also my pagiving? Yeah, I mean, you don't have a pay stub yet. Yeah. You'll get one this Saturday, but you're still an employee. You just give them your information or whatever that they need when it's time. They're going to say who you filing for, right? Then you're going to. Give them the pay stubs of the girls downstairs, plus say me and your cousin Melinda, right? Um, but you guys don't have pay stubs yet. You're brand new. Just tell them you're brand new. You're still filing. Um, so. Housing loan is checked, which I think is wrong. We're what? I don't think we're supposed to get in housing. I think we're just supposed to get an installment plan, but I don't know. Because for sure, I, I, 
There's no way I'm going to pay a 10% discount. I'm just going to cancel this whole thing. This is crazy. Um, Says a reservation fee um, was we acknowledge that the reservation fee for property yada 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 has been paid and is non refundable and is only valid for 30 days. After 30 days, it is forfeit. Five twenty nine date of reservation was five twenty nine. That's just the other day. At property, yada yada. So, you know, it says it right now, we were told three months ago that thirty-five, that thirty thousand was our reservation fee. But apparently, I don't, I don't know because uh, when she went on the 29th, she had to pay. What did she have to pay? I think she still has to pay uh, five thousand, right? So. After it says your reservation fee is forfeit, there's a long list of d -d 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 charges. Uh, it tells you the selling price of the house, and the discount, appraised value of the lot, whatever SRI, MRI is, monthly installment, fire codes, um, and then processing fee. Documentary stamp, fire fee. Anyway, it all adds up to five thousand, which I'm pretty sure she said we have to pay the next time when we take this paperwork back. Um, then there is a FAQ. As you can see, that that is not in English. I can't read it. So, in my experience, you just have to be comfortable not knowing and sometimes you will waste money or you're just gonna pay a lot more so right you there's always a say you can hire somebody to do this for you now would hiring them be worth the amount that I'm losing or maybe I don't know I mean, and anyone else who has a question, you should contact me, and I will tell you exactly whatever answer I can give you. There's not that many, but I can give you something. I don't know if they say, oh, well, the broker, my wife says the broker says da da da. Nope, go to the office. enough for three wraps around the body? Three wraps around the body. This is for the vest. Yeah, it's got to go around. One, two, three. Three wraps around the body. Is it perfect? It's very good. Meds need another, enough uh, because the 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 one that she used for it is um, it's now clogged. Clogged? Clean it out. Mm -hmm. This is for an order. Right? A new brand coming out. This is what we do. Salt and Lemon. I think it's Jack and Trill or Jason Trill. Not exactly sure how to pronounce it. It's um told about the name of Sergio in Greece or something. Anyway, we're making a, a tactical vest, like a designer tactical vest. It's going to be super cool. Um, we've taken the printing okay. in-house. Like, our business is growing and growing and so it's great. And then, I need I need the print. It's downstairs. What do you really need the print? How many? Of this! I already printed it. Huh? You need another print. Yeah, another. 
Then, Where's your I need ID? also to buy white of this. Why? <laughs> to the workout suit. Here all white and pink. I know. I thought you were going to use, um, just use cotton for that. Pink. Pink. What, what workout suit? We do have a, wait 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 wait. We have a workout suit, don't we? Oh. Wait, 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 I'm trying to think. Work suit? Work suit. Utility suit. Yes. Excuse me. But Oh. Take your clothes out of there. Stop coming over here. Just take them out. Put them in that corner or something. Mm. Mm, what? Then I had to crawl under the desk. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm gonna buy pink, I know. Anyway. Pink. Pink. Pink like this. Pink. With a white bias here. No, just use red. Why red? Because it's red. Then, kunin mo nga yung... Yung ano, yung print ng utility. Yung ginagawa ko. Yung may dito, yung nakay meds. Uh, Pakasabi, meds, uh, pinapakuha ni Arian yung... Uh, anyway, as far yung, as Ari Dan goes, we're trying to buy a house yes. with the government Peggy Big housing loan. Um, but, so, I guess everything is moving forward. We still have to pay five thousand. Or did you already pay? Okay, and you had to pay one thousand while you were there. Huh? When you went to the office the other day? Yeah. That was the reservation fee. Yes. Right? So it says you have the reservation fee is for thirty days from today. Or if you don't use it within thirty days you lose it, right? We have a reserved house for 1,000 pesos. Three months ago, we paid 30,000 pesos. 35,000 pesos to reserve a house. Hmm. Look at her face. Look, she's just smiling. Why are you smiling? Hmm. I'm smiling. You are smiling. Ito pala eh. Hindi. So we paid 35,000 to jumpsuit. a person, a broker. Now I, being me, said, okay, so we're going to pay you this money and you're going to get us a house to that's reserved. Right? Where's you it? already know what house it is, right? She showed us the, the two houses or three houses that were available at the time she's like okay so you're gonna get this house and I'll do all the paperwork I'll take care of it and for me I was like okay well it's gonna take two months for the paperwork to go through but right now this is an empty house nobody's living in and it's gonna be mine I'm moving in and then uh, everybody around me said no 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 you can't do that you can't no you gotta wait you can't do that you'll be a squatter I'm like it's my house already right I'm going I'm gonna buy it this is not red. This is also pink. I don't care. Make it red. Mm -hmm. mm. Mix the red with some white. Make it red. Make it... It's red and white. Pink is red and white. Mix the red with some white. Tell her to mix a little bit. And use that. Anyway, um, and as the months went on, I was like, man, no, 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 I'm just going to move in every time. When we got this place, I was like, why are we getting this place? Let's just move up there, right? But they're like, no, no, you can't do that. You can't. Oh, that house is gone now. That other house, that, that other house was apparently like a foreclosure that someone... Um, paid the back tax. I don't know what happened. So we, that other house was gone. Um, 
And now they come back with this house, which I haven't seen it yet, uh, but it's in the same neighborhood. All the houses are exactly the same. Uh, just, but here, here's what happens, right? So, okay, I'm like, okay, well, good. So we got a house now, good. And then she's like, oh, but somebody's already living there. So apparently, we have squatters in our our reserved house. So there's no way I'm gonna go through with this. We gotta change this. You know what? It, what it takes to make a squatter leave your house? Did you get? You have hers? Drink of salt and lemon. So now the squad is in the house. That means a whole legal and barangay uh, sheriffs and lawyers and third and notice and uh, relocation compensation. Like we'd have to pay these people. It's not. Okay, uh, send it to my messenger. Uh, so anyway, that's Peggy Big. That's the house buying process. Here's what I'm going to say. We start out with the broker. Uh, and then, don't pay them. Get them to show you the houses. Then you say, let's go to Peggy Big. Um, get them to take you to Peggy Big. Right? Because I feel, I mean, I don't know if we got scammed or I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Here's what I know is that we do have a house. We paid 35. Uh, we paid 36. And our house was reserved. That's, I mean, that's the information I had from the very beginning was you pay 30,000, 35,000 to this broker and you'll get a house reserved. But then in the end, like if you pay 35000 to somebody, you should literally be able to sit at home and then uh, they, you know, carry all the paperwork to you, hold your hand while you hold the pen in your hand and then move your hand along the paperwork, right? You shouldn't have to do anything. But still, we paid the broker and... Arian has to go to Peggy Big Main Office and wait all day for the broker to get there and then and then do paperwork and come back and we still have more paperwork to do. We have to get all of these requirements and things together. Like what is the broker for, right? I don't want I don't want to get angry. And I don't want to misinterpret what's happening, right? But it's just so hard to get like straight answers right and then so my mind's like well what the, 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 what the, maybe it's this maybe it's this or maybe we just got taken but there's no way like there's no way so many people could be complicit in in a in a like a I don't want to call it it's not a scam there's no way it's a scam where's the bill I should I go to the buy center so I I need to go now. Yeah, um... Just... One. No, 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 you still, they didn't tell her how much the, the, she would, uh, we would, owe. Oh. I mean, I've tried to figure it out, right? So it's, well, I understand it. For Peggy Big, the, the cost is 100 pesos per month per employee that both the employee and the employer have to pay. So it's 200 a month per person who works here but what I don't see is the schedule of how much the overall business owes to Peggy Big 
right? It, um, there was a book. It said something like two percent. Let's put the papers. I think the the book is in there. The book from Paggy Days. Doesn't matter. Now, if but it's capped at something, but I don't know what the cap is, right? So, if it's two percent of the business per month, two percent per month, right? That's crazy. There's no way. Plus, so we pay fifty percent of the employees share. So employees pay a hundred, we pay a hundred for each employee. That's one, two, eight machines. That's eight people, nine people. So that's 900. Nope, that's 1800. Because we have to pay um, from the start that they started working. Oh, that's a lot. It's just, it's a lot, right? So it's tough to figure out. But each of our employees have only been here for a month. Right? A month. So we owe one month of pay for each one. So that's 1800. But the business, the booklet said 2%. cap but I don't know if the cap is five thousand for the whole business or per person um, and then it, it, even the, the two percent was only it said two percent or one percent per person per per their, for, for their check um, but then at the same time every other pay step I've ever seen is only for 100 and, and even online, it, every paycheck is just 100. It's like a flat 100 uh, for Peggy B. Like capped at 100. So it's very confusing. And there's not enough information in there. I don't have enough information. I didn't give Joanne any information when she went. But if it's 2%, right? Uh, the most recent. Uh, I do need to uh, update our records for this week, but uh, the most recent uh, P and O uh, P and O schedule we have says we're at nine hundred thousand. We're at nine hundred thousand for this year. It's been five months. Let's just say it's a million, and we owe two percent. What is that? That's 20000 There's no way we could afford that, right? Plus, there's penalties because we're late. There's no, I mean, it makes no sense. I mean, so it's just, now, I, there's no way it's 20000 There's no, there's no Filipino company that could ever pay 20000 there's no, I mean, we can't pay for it. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm. So, I don't know what it is. I don't know how much it is. And I don't know how much to give her right now because she's going over there. Plus the penalty per employee for the late, but they're not late because they only all just started this month. Yeah, this month, only been four weeks. Here, take that. How much? Uh, that's five. Plus you need here. I don't know how much it will be for you to get there. It was 90. For travel? Um, so we'll see. We'll just have to see. That's it. It seems like it was long, but it was 
mostly me turned and talking about business and other things and not to the camera, but... What was she said? But why did you... She needs to sign that three times and then sign those two down at the bottom. Yeah. Um, so that's it for now. We. Oh, you need that printed out. Um, as I said, business is going okay. No, you're not paying the bills. The reason we're not paying the bills, right? So, as I said, getting business, getting new machines, growing. So we're moving. Uh, but what initially prompted the move is that we signed a lease with the landlord and fully apprised her of the fact that we are a business. This is what's going to be a place of business. Right? I said, we, I have a house. This is a place for business. She knew about it. Um, but at the time, all the sorting machines were at the other place. And I said, this would probably just be an office. But, Ariane talked to her and took all of the police plan. We're probably going to bring sewing machines here. This place would be great for sewing machines. This outside area and whatnot. So she knew. All right, she knew this was a second house and we had a business and it was a sewing business. And we might bring sewing machines here. And even if we didn't, this was definitely going to be a business place, not a living place. At least an office. So we pay her two months deposit. And one month rent. No. What? Are you going back to Peggy Big right now? Or what? She? I'm gonna. No. We're not paying these bills. Right. So she has our deposit. No, this one. Oh, yung the bills from the other house. St. Rose, that's only 500 something. In this. Laguna Water Bill. No, we're not paying this either. We already paid Laguna Water when we moved in. She still owes us money for that. No, the other house. St. Rose House. Not here. This is from St. Rose. 500. Yeah. Yeah, this one. So, anyway. Wait. Take out short. I need the car. Did you give? She has it. It's in the uh, the folder. Or are you taking her to? Yeah. Okay. Well, I gave her money for travel. Fuck it. Huh? Um. Tell her to go. No, it's okay. She has. It's in the folder. She has yeah. it somewhere. Anyway, just let's go move it. What? Sh um, get some Vaseline and get some off for mosquitoes, you know. Vaseline and off. Or, or some chapstick or something. Get Vaseline. Get some Vaseline. Anyway. 
Where are those um, magazines at? Are they here? Yes. Okay. Vaseline off lotion. Off for mosquitoes. And what? Maybe some bug spray. I'm gonna need it for tonight when I go get that uh, Jeep. Oh. I'm going tonight. I think we should both go. I think the kids are there. In Montauban. Yeah, the kids are there. Did you want to go see them or no? They are cleaning their Cleaning where? The rental house? house? Yeah. Where's that printout? She got it. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> just everything. Now I'm talking shit. Now I'm talking shit. Before, you know, talking shit about Peggy Big. It sounds like I'm talking shit about everything, but there's some stuff to talk shit about. <laughs> but it's I'm not taking any of it too hard, except for this. You know, somebody's just got me for 35000 I'm going to be pretty fucking angry. Right? But, and the reason I, I emphasize it, there's no way that there's this is a scam. It's crossed wires. Everywhere we go, there's crossed wires. Right? It's, the way I see it, it's like a, it's a problem of trying to uh, meld anarchy and government. So the way most things work here is every area, it's, it's traffic is super bad, people can't go anywhere. So you, you gotta have everything you need in one area. So every town has a million tire shops, every town has a million, has welders, has um, Pipe fitters, uh, the print shops, sewing shops, seamstresses, tailors, all of those specialized jobs or very, you know, air, uh, AC mechanics, you know, whereas in the U.S. you would open up the phone book and see whatever the list of places was. Here, you have to be able to just go down the street and find what you need, no matter what it is. It's a regular thing for a living because they, a big outfit, you know, can't, they can't come to you and you can't go to them. It's too much hassle. It's got to be here. Um, now, of course, there's exceptions to that. Like, I mean, we go to Tai Tai all the time. That's far away for fabric, for bulk fabric, you know. But even here, locally, we can get fabric. I think you can get fabric in every place in the Philippines. Some fabric somewhere from a... Uh, local reseller, you know, small, small quantities dealer. Um, just because it's, there's, you know, there's no big oversight, there's not a bunch of infrastructure to make it easy for you to just travel, right? So, everything has to be where you are, and then that opens up a lot of opportunity for individual businesses to make their money, to find their customers. Yeah. Uh, where's the bill? Thank you. Thank you. Why? She needs that. No, she doesn't. She's going to try to pay it. She needs to pay it. Oh, wait, never mind. What is this? Why didn't she take it? Which one is it? These two. She forgot them. Okay. My bad. See if you can talk to the uh, ID card maker while she's driving you. Just call them. Um, so, it's the, the, so, even though I may talk to a broker and the broker says, okay, this is what we need and we can do this. When it comes to interacting with the government that has their own set of rules and it's different, the information is not disseminated, right? Everything is localized, so the people only know 
what they know from the people that surround them. They don't have the big picture. Pick it and go. What? Five hundred. What do you mean five hundred? For this bill. Pay the bills. Any? You got money? No, that's for your off lotion, for your Vaseline, for your mosquito something. There's there's it's more than five hundred. What are you talking about, Ariane? Go, go pay the bills. <laughs> Grab shiny kashayon. It's not enough. The business does not pay our house bills. Huh? Hmm? You what? got paid? You got paid? You better pay some of that. Anyway, it's all stuff. It's the middle of the work day. There is still work to do. Um, what was I saying? Maybe I'll break this up into two parts. But anyway, so... Uh, I don't remember what I was just saying. What I was saying is that this is a this has to be cross-wires and some sort of mistake or some f facet of this process that I personally am not understanding because... Again, disseminating all the information is not, that's that's the problem. It's like getting it all to, to get the shit to roll downhill is hard when there's too many potholes, right? There's a lot of potholes in the hills here. So getting everything from the top to the bottom is just not always doable. So... I don't I don't know um, what would you do say you paid a broker 35,000 to secure your house it took months and months and then you got nothing well now that I'm explaining it but there's no just I can't I mean it has to be just something that I'm not understanding. There has, there has to be a logical explanation. There's no way a person could take thirty-five thousand from us and not have done this from other people, right? Family members recommended this person. They must have paid thirty-five thousand as well. And then, you know, in the end, the outcome is favorable, but. Is it thirty-five thousand favorable? That's all I want to know. Is it thirty-five thousand pesos favorable? Because that's it's going to eat at me. It's going to eat at me. I'm going to I'm going to say, why did I give her this money? What did I get for it? Um, and I think if I push too hard, it. Again, like I said, family recommended her. This person is in business. She has a bunch of different clients. I saw all the papers in her house. This is what she does. She is a broker for Peggy Big, for houses. Did she take 35000 from all of these people? Right? Is every person that deals with her being taken? I don't know. There's no way. There's no way. There's no legitimate business that could get away with that kind of thing. Um, I, mean, I don't know. It's a culture. Maybe it's just a cultural difference because Ariane doesn't seem overly angry about it. She doesn't even seem concerned. But she, I'm sure, she understands that, like I am starting to understand, that there's just some part of the process that we don't know and that they're not telling us. But it is a legitimate part of the process. <coughs> Alright, so that's been part one. Um, I'll, I'll come back. We'll do part two next time.